everyone, today's video is about my National Geographic plush collection. I thought I'd start off with one of my favourites, although I do try not to have my favourites. I definitely, some do speak to me if you will, and this is one of them. Um, I actually have given her a name, her name is Snow. She's the National Geographic Arctic Fox. Just love how soft her fur is and her facial expression is just so sweet. Um, there is also the small arctic fox, which I have, which goes together. They do make a cute pair. I would say the larger one of the two, um, you know, the quality is a bit higher in the bigger one. Not to say that this one's not a good one as well, but I think my fave of the two is definitely the larger one. Um, I have a fair few National Geographic Plus. You can get them on eBay. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, some different stores do sell them, um, stuffed with plush toys sell them on their online website. Um, I was lucky enough to find a seller on eBay not too far away from home actually, so I, um, you know, I was able to go pick some up, up rather than having to pay full delivery, so that's always good to save a little bit of money. Um, but yeah, so they're the two Arctic foxes that you can get. This is my wolf. This is a very cute National Geographic one from North America. Um, his ears don't quite sit up straight, which I wish they kind of did, but also it kind of gives him his personality. He's not wanting to cooperate with me right now, but he's very cute. I do love his face. He's about the same size as the Arctic Fox. Again, lovely soft fur on this size, probably about 12 inches, I would say, again. And then we have my polar bear, which is probably again around that same size as the wolf and the arctic fox. They do have lovely soft fur, good for cuddling. Um, some of these that I'm going to be showing you are actually belong to my son. He's not quite two, um, so you know they're more up high on his shelf rather than for playing with at the moment. He does love them though, and he loves to pat them and he calls them Bubba, which is pretty sweet. Um, so for example this one, the monkey, that belongs to my son. For now we're sharing, um, we can always pull our collection together. So he's very cute. I love the colours on this one. Beautiful monkey, let's just have a look. It might tell us a little bit more information in the tag. If I can find the English one. Nope, that says something about a toucan. Okay, nope. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't have much more information to give you on this one. It's from the Tropical Rainforest Collection. Uh, maybe it'll tell me on the tag. There you go, a squirrel monkey. So very cute, this one belongs to my son, but for now he is up high and only for licking, for now. Um, and I'll just show you the big cat that we have or the from the wild pups range which are very cute so again wild pups let me just check out on the tag for you guys so this is a jaguar baby pretty cute and the tiger goes without saying can't deny those stripes there's your tiger Pretty sure this one is a mountain lion. Yeah, that is a mountain lion. Very cute face. They go super sweet together. Again, these will be for sharing. I'm hopeful that my little man will be into animals just as much as his mum. But we'll see how we go. If not, you know, I love them. They'll be here. He loves them for now. He loves going to bed with his rabbit. So I think he'll definitely be... A bit of an animal plushy lover. And here we have a horse. I don't actually have a lot of horse plush, uh, interestingly enough. So it is nice to have this one. And we'll just double check. Please don't ask me to pronounce that. Prowalski horse. Sorry to anybody who actually knows how to pronounce that properly. I'm so sorry. Again, uh, including the tail, I'd say. Yeah, again, probably that 12 inch length. Very lovely. The detailing and the feel is very lovely on these plush. 
Speaking about rabbits, I actually got this one for, with my son in mind because I think for now he's definitely a big bunny lover and I think this one will grow great when he's a little bit older. Just check out the tag for this one. So it's a Jack Rabbit, National Geographic from the Desert Range. Super sweet face. Love that one. Oh, and here we have some sloth. Very cute. Tag got a little bit damaged, but that's okay. It's still attached. So cute. And this little one. Actually, when I bought a couple of the plush from the seller, they gave this one to me for free. Very cute, the baby sloth. Tropical rainforest, like the bigger one. This one has a bit of a softer texture and it's that lighter colour. This one's got a bit more of a... I don't know, woolly or a coarser feel to it, but still very soft, the same as the small one. But there they are together. Or oh, like this. Hello. Okay, so there you are, sloth. Oh. This one's so cute. It's the otter. He's very lovely. Again, um, including his tail, he's got quite a bit of length actually on this one to be honest so maybe 13 inches or a little bit more your otter very cute I do love this one look at his little ears so cute okay and hello Mr. Rhino he's very lovely as well this one was so super cheap I'm not sure why the seller was getting rid of them cheap but they were super cheap so I thought why not get some for myself and my son he loves them and the range um, the manufacturer so you've obviously got National Geographic but then you've got the people that actually make it Lally they're a really good high quality plush in my opinion if anybody else has some Lally plush I think I have a husky but it's not from National Geographic it's just the Lally brand very lovely, I highly recommend them. And this is the last one that I have in the National Geographic range. This is the Koala Australia represents. So obviously Aussie here. It's nice to get some Australian high quality toys. And he's beautiful for cuddling. Lovely size. Again, that same Lally brand. Super duper cute. If anyone would like to see um, a video on more of the National Geographic or one in particular, just let me know. I'm happy to do that. You can also find images that I've taken of these plush on my Instagram, which is also Colour Me Ames. Um, so yeah, check it out if you have Instagram, but otherwise I'll keep posting videos on here and thank you very much for watching. Bye!